Joining me now, former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, also here, Donald Trump Attorney Christina. Bob, Christina, I talked to you last week. I want to get to Pam here a second. Pam, so this change of venue, I'm, the left will tell you unequivocally, it will not happen. Trump came out and said over the weekend, he said, this is absolutely unfair. This, this judge here, she's got a history of, of uh, overcharge, over punishing January 6th defendants. He wants it out. And, and frankly, he should get it. But they, they won't, the way the rules are, Pam, it doesn't look like it's going to be changed, does it? Eric, it doesn't. And I totally agree with President Trump and John Laura, his attorney. It should be moved, but it doesn't look like it will be. Look, all this has always been a coordinated attack by the Biden administration, whether it's the Mar-a-Lago charge, the charges that I believe are going to come in Georgia, um, all the other charges the president is facing. This is coordinated and it is an attack on a political opponent and nothing more. Yeah. And Christina, you know, Jamie, we're asking a, a Again, very liberal House member who oversaw one of the sham impeachments of, of Donald Trump as president. Jim Raskin said this is a free, not a freedom of speech issue. I, I would beg to differ. I'll let you weigh in on the backside of that. Yeah, of course. There are people who are in jail for several years for counterfeiting one vote. If they try to vote illegally mm -hmm. once, he tried to steal the entire election. And... His lawyer's up there saying, oh, that's just a, a matter of him expressing his First Amendment rights. That's deranged. That is a deranged argument. So deranged, is, it, that's, that's ridiculous. Jamie Raskin doesn't realize that the First Amendment of the Constitution allows people, including the president or former president, to express what he feels about what happened. Doesn't necessarily, that's not breaking the law, certainly shouldn't require an imprisonment just by having expressed an opinion. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Christina. No, you're exactly right. Deranged. It's ridiculous to think that in the United States of America, we criminally prosecute people for having political differences. The whole point of this is to protect political speech. And Donald Trump's speech is protected speech. It's protected political speech. And the whole idea that he was somehow required to listen to one uh, government official at CISA, but not a government, uh, not another government official at the Department of Justice, that was criminal. But not listening to the director of CISA was somehow also criminal. It's schizophrenic. This is a schizophrenic indictment. It will never hold up at the Supreme Court. And I don't think, I honestly don't think that uh, Jack Smith even cares if it does or doesn't. This is election interference. They're playing the short game. They're not playing the long game. And uh, it, it's nothing more than election interference. Now, Pam, also, you know, the left, the media and complicit media with the left will say anything to make sure Trump doesn't get reelected. Listen to Joe Scarborough. The head of their party, the guy most likely to be the nominee, has threatened a federal prosecutor and said, I'm coming after you. He's gone full mobster here. And yet, no criticism from Republicans in the House, Republicans in the Senate, very little from Republicans on the campaign trail. So this, he, Scarborough's referring to uh, a Truth Social post that Trump put out mm -hmm. over the weekend saying, if you come after me, I'm coming after you. I mean, I, I, people say that all the time, at no point. At no point did Trump say he was directing that to uh, to Jack Smith. None, zero points here, but the left has to paint it that way. Pam? It's not a threat, Eric, and it's free speech. And, you know, in my entire career as a prosecutor, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, you know, Jack Smith stood up at the arraignment for President Trump and said, we want a trial in two months. Prosecutors don't do that. That is the defendant's right. And they have President Trump facing something crazy like 450 years in prison. Yet they are saying they want to bring him to trial in two months. And frankly, Joe Scarborough and every member of the liberal media should be filing motions in agreement with Donald Trump that it is free speech. This is the first time that the liberal media is now against free speech. This is literally free speech, 100%. Christina Bob Pam is right. A, pre a person has the right to say, I got robbed. That didn't, that was wrong. What happened to me was illegal. You can say that, but you don't get incarcerated for saying that. But somehow the standard of justice is different for Trump. And by the way, Trump will point out if they get away with it for him, every single human being is at risk. Christina, final thought.
Of course, Pam's absolutely right. This this is protected free speech. And her point about the media, I think, really needs to be emphasized. The fact that the media is not all over this saying free speech, free speech, free press demonstrates their true intent. They don't want free speech because they want to control the narrative. The media right now tries to control reality for Americans. And God forbid we actually exercise our First Amendment rights and people can actually hear differing opinions. Uh, that threatens the power that the media currently has. And I think that's why we're not seeing a big outcry from them. 100, 100 million percent. You guys are both right. It's amazing that the left, the lawyers on the left, forget the media, the, the media on the left's lost. But the lawyers, the legal people on the left should be saying this is you can't put them. You can't prosecute someone for having an opinion oh, that, that you were robbed. It's insanity. It's crazy. Christina Bob, Pam Bondi, thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you.